Hello, and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. I'm your Captain Whale, and it is go time. For the final Team Star base, I am not going to continue with the uh, new Cassiopeia voice direction I was going with at the end of the last base, so with that in mind, I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Whale. Well, Cassiopeia. So you made it as well, Clive. Of course. It's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. Cassiopeia's hung up. All right. Thanks to you, Whale, I've slowly but surely come to understand, Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master Whale. Ah, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. Right. So kind of them to put us right at the entrance to the base. Over in a new area of the bamboo forest of lag and death. Mostly this lag, though. The Pokemon here are already low compared to us. Yeah, pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, Airy, was it? Yeah, Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves, but I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now if you want to get on with our battle, I'm ready on my side. Who are you? Well, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Ah, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here, it's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, really? You need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the cough squad. And everyone else in Team Star, too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of this squad, I... I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a Hasta La Vista from you, nice and loud. Hasta La Vista. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Will. My Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you could handle this grunt alone? Yeah. I see no reason why we couldn't. Thanks, I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. Are you ready to battle? I'm so ready.
Carmen of Team Star. Might not be weak to it as poison fighting, but still, it's a. Uh, it goes down in just a single hit. Prime Ape's about to come in. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here's done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! I take it you defeated the guard out front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting Street with the Ka Squad. Their boss, Aerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she's likely to be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. You're spot on. I knew it. Tell me what happened. She retreated. We're talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Ka Squad off the map. The only getting ready we need to do is change position so that we have our three Pokemon not weak to fighting in the front. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon? Yes. Beep, crit. Even the smallest of stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last bastion of Team Star. A losing isn't an option. Hey, kid, are you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. We will... Annihilate these guys. Our Claude is gonna take these toxic croaks. Tinkaton, hammer time. All right, you Claude. Some more annihilation. Annihilate's turn here. Claude Sire's turn here. No small Pokemon in this raid.
That's the 30 of 30 needed to dry out the big fish. I don't, I don't think we can hold them off much longer. The boss. Boss of the team starts fighting through Airy. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are. I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time I won't run away. Rawr! We are challenged by Aerie of Team Star. Tinkaton against Toxicroak here. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. So close there. I'll give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. An attack boost will help us be the one left standing. Annihilate. We'll keep in our Tinkaton. I see someone is a woman of culture. But plus one Tinkaton is here to uh, deliver the... Uh, I don't, I, I don't have a good pun of that, so it's here to just deliver the pain. I guess that is a passable Simeon. Not as good as the Annihilate, though. Getting that lucky attack up on the uh, Metal Claw there is going to save us here. Lucario. We'll fight through the Lucario to keep our attack up. Another attack up? Okay, that was a little greedy to ask for that. Reverum room time. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. High horsepower. Well, it does have a lot of horses under the hood there. We're weak to ground, but resist fighting on a Claude Sire. We're gonna go with Annihilate here. D defense rising from the stamina here. Let's go ahead and use the terrestrialization on our Annihilate here. If push comes to shove, we can bring out Meowskareta and go for that uh, guaranteed crit. Defense keeps rising here.
It is now plus six speed. And plus three attack. And plus three defense. Combat tour. We're gonna swap in the claw out of here. Speed won't go any higher. Attack rose. High horsepower has a chance to miss here, but what we're actually going to do here is we're actually going to hyper potion up our annihilate. High horsepower does not miss. Let's see, are we faster than it? No, we are not. We'll keep drain punching. Defense keeps rising, how unfortunate for us. Okay, we have a strategy if, if we need to come back into this fight after a defeat. But I think for now, we're going to max revive Tinkaton and let Annihilate go down here. Annihilate will be fighting Ghost-type on a revival of its own. We're gonna bring Tinkaton back in here and hope it either misses the high horsepower or we can live it. Doubtful we live it, it's a uh, plus four after all. And I guess the critical hit that we've been needing so desperately. We'll bring in Oinkaloni. At least if it makes contact with us, it should lose stamina. Ah, that's another strategy we have available to us. There goes uh, Oinkaloni. Come on, Annihilate. Oh, you know, it didn't appear to get a uh, 
a debuff to it there, so I don't think that'll work. Speed harshly fell. The defense keeps rising on us. It's having to spin out here. Max Potion Annihilate. It's just gonna spin out again. Plus six defense, plus five attack, plus two speed. We're gonna buy ourselves another turn here, or... No, we're gonna start deploying our tactic right now. This will double our defense. Assuming no crits, we will live this. Speed harshly fell. Oh yeah, we are scumming this thing. I do not want to lose on camera. Max Potion again. And none of these were ever bought from a store. All were just found uh, scattered around the ground on my trip through Paldea. Speed harshly fell. It is now in negatives. We're going to go with a Rage Fist here now that we're all pumped up. Boom, Rever Room. Yeah, we were not losing on camera. I'm so sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry. I think we went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but truly you need not apologize, milady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Aerie. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See, nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, uh, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, I'm sorry. You really should, uh, you all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what what it is, but it's looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. 
You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Fighting crew defeated, Starfell Street 5 of 5 with the fighting badge. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. TM 1 to 67, close combat. Put it in the bag's TM's pocket. User fights the target up close, inflicting damage without guarding itself. Also lowers defense, special defense. Yep, we have that on, on Annihilate. I know you're part of Operation Starfall. But I can tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I... I just... R really... <laughs> Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Airy compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, all right, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids always fickle and once a thrill, and, and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you re really think that's true? Ah, uh, no. I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. Whale, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ares' star badge? Without his boss, the Ka Squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. So, Ares was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the Academy. Nice work out there, Whale. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you two. Thanks, now about your reward. Whale, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. As promised. 20,000, a fitting reward for that absolute struggle. More kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Whale his bonus reward now. Lots of Pokemon materials. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star back then. The members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. 
They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Whale. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So, Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. Really? I had Cassiopeia pegged as the boss from day one. Granted, I also had you pegged as Cassiopeia from day one, and that was wrong. But with this revelation, I might- I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy's schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. And finally, Cassiopeia's true voice will be revealed. Uh, the voice I've been using for them is just, uh, been me running their voice through a filter to make it unrecognizable to anyone eavesdropping on the other end of the call. Or on our end of the call. Let's get a heal up here. We need it. And this whale pod is where we're ending this episode of Pokemon Scarlet. I, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and sub to the channel if you have not done so already. All three of those helped me out considerably, and I appreciate them greatly. Now, with that said and done, uh, I hope you all are having fantastic days, whale pod. Remember to stay cool, stay classy, and most importantly, stay healthy. But until next time, this is Captain Whale, signing off.